So I don't want you to take this person and don't come and yab me. Hey, my friend, if you yab me, I'll yab you ten times. I'm... Hello again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Noye and I'm a Nigerian teacher. I live and work in Lagos, Nigeria. If it's your first time here, let me be the first to say welcome to my YouTube channel. Please take a moment to hit on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn off the notification bell. That way you get notified when I drop my next content. If you are an old or returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I'm super grateful. I do not take you for granted. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the love that you showed me in my my last video i appreciate it and i'm very grateful for it so today's video is also going to be another relaxing video so please calm down please calm down now it's just fed space some of the things that i don't like they're not really bad 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 as it were but then there are things that i naturally don't like so for some people they may not see it as a big deal so i'll be my own pet piece teacher edition so welcome to my channel if you're interested in these five pet pieces that i'm going to share with you please keep watching <music> Start from the gates to express themselves. So, I need to see the child as if my child. Who my child? So they are upset about something, obviously, and then they come to the school to express their feelings about what they don't like. But then they start from the gate, and then the whole school is hearing their voice. And at the end of the day, when you analyze the matter, break it down, and this is the matter, you now find that they didn't even watch the noise or the shout. Those parents get into my brain, honestly. Ah, I can't stand it. And most times, because I know I may be involved in that situation because I have a kid's stage actually. Sometimes I may be called, you know, at some point. So if I start hearing or notice that there are some people who are already making such noises from the beginning, I'll go and give myself compulsory work so that I'm not be involved. I think that we can settle in a very nice way. Start on a very noisy and at the end of the day we end this in a very quiet way then you will now want you so why did you raise your voice in the first place why did you distract the innocent children who didn't even know anything and then you find out that it wasn't even a big deal after all <sighs> the second group of people that i like to talk about are the people who give teachers attitude the minute you they see you as a teacher they get you to the you're not a doctor, you're not an engineer. I don't know who I can't stand those people and I'm wondering why do you give people who take care of your precious treasures? Why do you give them that attitude? So I've met a couple of them, honestly. This thing just disgusts me. There's a way they give you that attitude, there's a way they, they give you this vibe. They're so cold at you. When they come to school and then you say, if I don't give you this attitude, and then you're wondering, ah ah, joking like you, know, because I'm a teacher, ah ah, I'm fine, I'm relaxed, I'm calm, I'm drinking water. What's the problem? Please, I can't stand those people. And they know me where I work from. They want I do not even have relationship with parents. Whatsoever I do, I let you see my work from your child's life, from what, or from how I impact your child, from how, from how I relate with your child. So I do not even relate with some parents. I don't even do some of them interestingly, so that I don't start getting myself worked up by they're giving you attitude, they're not giving you attitude. It doesn't even bother me, but these are just pet peeves. That stuff that I do not use. Remember. It's just for fun, it's relaxing to you, so please calm down. <laughs> now the third group are teachers. This group of teachers are the ones that scratch the back of their ears when they're talking to the parents. And I'm like, why? What? So that they can squeeze some naira beans into your palm or what? Ah, the money ma. Eh, ah, it is eh, I don't it ma. The child is really doing well. Oh god, I can't stand it. So I don't. In fact, I don't see any of my teachers do that, bad, honestly. But I've seen it in a whole lot of time. This disgusts me. I've confronted my teachers like, come on, what's this? What's, what's this belittling? Why are you doing that? Why are you making it look like, eh, if I don't get it like that, eh, excuse some dollar piece of me, say, eh, apa. Oh gosh, like police officers. So come on, please. You just stop it if you're one of those people are watching me now and you teach you just 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 stop stop it yeah that's me i don't like it it's disgusting okay number four these are also teachers there are some teachers interestingly who don't understand why they are doing this job they will not do the work they're supposed to do and that's it's okay that is okay oh, oh. the work that they're supposed to do they will not do it and they will come up with them um, yes ma'am actually then well mm, uh, and you're like you're supposed to Results, come on, do this job. It's easy. You can do it. 
if you have issues and then you're like if you have issues why didn't you give a feedback come on why didn't you just do it and then they give you some excuses that make you want to look for king and then they give you excuses that want to make you get a king you know the african and you just want to come out when they give you those excuses when the motor come when the machine come when the motor the guy the machine all the people die i can't stand those people something that you can do is two plus things for just do this thing and get it over with then you start having issues with them it's something that is not so such a big deal and becomes a big deal and you're like ah what is this it's not this why did you give me feedback about this child the rule says that she give me feedback about this child um sorry ma ma eh, oh, oh, what is this i can see yeah, those ones also get to me like this and most times i'm like I'm looking at them like, are you for real? I can't stand those group of people saying one of those people. Teachers, hey, now stop. See, I'm talking to my teachers and I'm bashing now. Relax. This is just best this. I said it earlier. Don't come for me. Yeah, thank you. Up your mind, it's okay. The last group of people are school owners of fighters or directors that have turned themselves to Lord of Lords because they own the school. They wanted to kiss their feet, they wanted to bow at their feet, they wanted to worship them because they own the school. Hey! Jesus! And then this woman that I once worked with one time when I was transitioning from after I graduated from the university to greet them, who said that everyone who greets her was new down to greet her. I don't know who that is. What's that? What's going on? Why do we have to do that? So, why do you have to accept a lot of lots? Because we work with you or we work for you. I don't understand. You know, so, so those are some of the things I really do not like. And then, all manner of stuff that you've heard about school owners. So if you're a school owner watching this video and this hits you, please just stop. Thank you very much. But then the amazing school owners. To be honest, I've met amazing one. I'd like to give a shout out to hey Mrs. Adeni. She's actually known as Rinka Kosh. She's a school owner. Man, this woman is an amazing woman. Check out her YouTube channel. I'm going to leave that on the screen and in the description box. She's an amazing school owner who is also a YouTuber, but she's fantastic. So let me just use that one to come up for this particular pet piece. But then there are other school owners that are amazing school owners. Okay, but then I don't want to bring it out to those who have thought themselves to be of Lord. So on that note, Thank you very much. I'm just to share my five pet peeves, some of the things that I don't like, but some people may not see as big deal. But these are also not big deal, but I really don't like them. So I wanted to just share them out with you. So I hope you like this content. Please give this video a thumb up so that more people can get to watch it. Thank you so much. Please show this video more love like you did in my last video. Thank you so much. Until I come your way in another video, it's me signing out. I stay safe, blessed, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. If you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button, tap on the notification bell, like it, comment and share. Thank you.